Alright, so I've come across Craig Werner who has a really interesting little pop-up. It's New Year's Day today and uh, we're going to do a little walkthrough of Craig Werner's lovely little pop-up. How long have you had this one for? Uh, we've had it about a year and a half. I actually uh, built it up from a standard Jurgens trailer mm -hmm. and I managed to find a, a middle section to hold all your goods mm -hmm. and on top of it we ended up getting a Bundu Tech uh, pop-up tent, which okay. is an amazing little electric tent. So you just push a button and your tent goes up? Yep. Fantastic. And, and the, the whole concept behind this is to just arrive and go. Uh, it takes us 16 seconds to put the tent up. And the rest of the stuff, as you can see, is pull-out type items. The awning, uh, the little bar area and the kitchenette. Uh, so you can just arrive, put the jacks down and literally about 10 minutes later you're sitting on your chair having a cold one. Nice. One of the things that uh, I noticed that you showed me earlier was your uh, box that you built at the back here. You built this yourself, did you? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Actually, this was where it all started. <laughs> yes. uh, I ended up building the bar area and yes. then I thought, well, I need to put something around the bar area. So I went and bought the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> so effectively, yeah, it's, it's just a pull out. Yes. Um, you've got a little slide out area here for the drinks and then inside here is a nice compartment for putting all your bright tongs and obviously all the essentials. It obviously gets a bit messy because you don't pack it neatly yes. um, but everything's in there from pots, javel makers um, to uh, pry um, plates. Yes, and you've got quite a big fridge in there. What yeah, is that one? the fridge, it, it's just a camp master fridge, all runs on battery mm -hmm. um, and it's, you can set it either freezer or fridge. Uh, but the beauty is you literally can just push it once you lie everything flat. It's just a case of pushing it in and then you're, you know, she's all closed up. Ah. This little shelf folds down. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Right, so you've got a table and you've got your fridge and you've got your drinks and everything that you need there. Correct. Super. The beauty with this middle box is all the sections have, uh, it gives you a full packing space inside. Uh, there are little lights as well uh, that work for give, at night giving you space. Can you clip those off and put them somewhere else if you want to? Uh, no, they are they permanently are mounted, but the beauty is they fold flat, so yes. when you put this back up. Uh, actually, another very nice feature, which it came with, is it's got a, a built-in table here. Very yeah, nice. And the table, if we're just stopping for one night, we often won't take it down, but as you can see, she folds out there. And then literally, you've got a full-size a table to put out for your storage. Yes, nice. Um, but we obviously, we're only staying one or two nights here, so we haven't bothered. bothered. And then it clips in tightly and, and, and the then it thing clips closes. in securely there. The main feature of the camper is the tent. Yes. Uh, what size can... bed have you got in there? Uh, this is an extra length. She's a three meter, three meter tent, yes. which is plenty of space. It's actually very light. It's an aluminium box. Yes. Um, so it looks heavy, but she's pure aluminium. Yes. And literally, by pressing the button, she takes about 16 seconds and your tent is down. And then she closes. And yeah. It's as easy as this camping. Inside. Inside she's got lights and fans. I'll turn them on and actually you can come have a look. All right. <laughs> I also made a little headboard so you can sit in bed and read. Yes. Yeah, and she's really dry and comfy. We, yeah. We've been through 65 kilometer hour storms in Scottsboro with the, and we haven't had any water heaps or anything. And it's what? Uh, Bundu? Bundu Tech. Bundu Tech, okay. So yeah, they, they export to all over the world. I think the Australians buy it like hotcakes. Yes. 
Okay, nice. And then what happens to the the ladder? That looks like a fold-up ladder. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's just a, a nice, quick and easy, you know, if you want to drop the ladder down. Um, oh, that's nice. And then she just literally folds like that and you put it away in the car. Nice. I need a ladder like that. You better watch out when you move tomorrow that your ladder's still yes. there. <laughs> <laughs> and then round the front here is the... Got it. Uh, I've just put in an electrical, it's got a CTEC, CTEC unit just to run the batteries and that, so you just <coughs> plug her in. She will run on her own and you can also just plug a solar panel in. Do you have a solar panel? Yes, mm. I've got a portable solar panel and the solar panel just plugs in here into this little connection here. Yep. Should you not have electricity, which obviously we do have. And then that charges the batteries and it also runs, it's an AC-DC system, so it will run with the car as well when you're driving. Nice. Fuel keeps charged and keep your, your, keeps keep it your, balanced. Keep it, your fridge cold. Yes. At the same time. So then she's got the Easy On uh, 2000 awning, which is a pleasure to put up. You literally, she just concertinas in. And you lock her in an aluminium box and that's done. Do you have sides for it? Um, I have got some sides. I've yet to still put a bit of Velcro on just to make them attach easier. Yes. Um, the car has a Bundu Orn as well. Oh, which right. is actually quite... We use that fairly often if we want bigger bigger shading. Yes. Um, she has got a pull-out. This is a pull-out um, drawer where we keep all the food and groceries inside. Yes. Um, so you can keep your look. biscuits and whatever else you want to use. All the good stuff. Yeah, good stuff, which is also nice at home. Just pack the box, bring it out, put it in, sh in yes. she goes. Yes. Um, you've also obviously got your lights here. Believe it or not, this is a little serving shelf because when the, when the wife's in bed and uh, in the morning she's looking for her coffee, once you've made the coffee you can literally put the... <laughs> coffee there and it goes in for you're consumption. A, you're a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, this is a little portable shelf that just clips in here which we keep normally inside the van. Just and to how does it clip on? It's literally got a, there's a piece of aluminium just riveted to the side there yes. and obviously it rests on top of the wheel <coughs> Oh I see. Okay. So and that's that, why that, that just effectively holds it. holds it on. Fantastic. I like finding out about new shelves and things because one always yeah, needs these ideas. Because the whole idea is just quick, you know, plug mm -hmm. and play. Mm -hmm. um, she's got a gas bottle holder here, which is where that travels. And there's a little three pin plug here because we generally keep the electrical appliances just up here on the shelf. I must yes. say. So you've got an air fryer down there as well. Yes, this is the first time we thought, you know, do we bring a microwave or the air fryer with? Um, and we thought, let's try the air fryer. And it really, it is quite useful. <coughs> it, it has worked well for us when there's electricity. And it's not for an off-road trip. We would leave that behind if we're just using solar panel because we don't have an inverter yeah. in the van. Okay. Um, so you really just got 12 volt when you travel? Yeah, okay. really. Then we would just gear it around gas and that sort of cooking. So you've got some easy stabilizing jacks, have you? Yes, yeah, so so what I do is put the van, tilt the van down when I'm setting her up with the front nose cone down, then I put the back jacks down. Yeah. And then on the front I use the jockey wheel and I've got an ex another flat footed jockey wheel to lift level the van. Okay. And with that it then puts pressure on all the jacks so that the van is nice and stable and not not moving. So are these jacks, are you able to lift each of them individually? Uh, you, you, they just have a bolt which holds them. Yep. So by loosening the bolt, I yep. won't loosen it now, but you just loosen that, then the jack just falls into the van. Okay, so you can get onto sort of pretty much any shaped ground. Yes. The Angle only thing ground. you do need, which I have got separately, is a, a leveler for one of the wheels. Okay. So if I need to level it this way, I just put a base under there and drive the van onto the I base. I see, okay. All right, Craig, thank you very much. It's a very interesting pop-up you have here. Thanks very much for the tour.
it's New Year's Day today, so Happy New Year for 2023. Hope you have lots of lovely tours in your uh, in your pop-up trailer. No, thank you, Don. And yeah, hopefully it gives uh, the guys out there some thoughts on easy, quick um, arrive and go camping. As I'm that's really sure it will. Yes, that's really the theme that we've tried to to build. Great. Thanks again. Pleasure.